Hi team, welcome to Cloud Pandit. In this Azure Data Factory Master Program, in today's session, we will talk about how to copy data from REST API to ADLS using barrier token authentication in Azure Data Factory. So at the time of creating linked service, we will be using the basic authentication and pass user and password. But at the time of accessing the data, we need to pass a active token to fetch the data from REST API and load it into the ADLS. Here source is REST API, target is ADLS. So we will be using ADF to ingest this particular process. So we need a total three things. First one is Azure Data Factory. Next REST URL, which is our input. The target is ADLS Gen2. So let's quickly go to the lab. So for that, I already kept the things ready. So Data Factory, I created and kept it ready. Let me quickly open this Azure Data Factory. Similarly, if you see, this is the place where you can able to find the token, right? So the this is the token that like this is the REST URL that I will be using to get all the user details by using the token. So if you look at our previous session, this is the user and password we have used for the login. And this is the token which we have used for accessing the data from the postman. Same things we are trying in the Azure Data Factory now. So I just opened Data Factory. This is the REST URL I'll be using. So my data like storage target is also kept it ready. So what I'll do in the targets, I'll like go to container. I'll create the container called global. Okay. So create it. Step one is I just create a data factory. Step two, create a data like storage into URL is ready. Step four, I open the data factory. Now let's move on to the manage tab. Let's create a two linked services. Click new. So first one is for the REST API, right? So let's go to the REST API, REST. So linked service LS for REST API. Come down. So base URL. So we need to get the base URL. If you go to this, you can get this is the base URL which you need to use. So I'll be just using this. And then basic authentication is I'll get the username and password from here, you can see. From previous session, we have used this is the username and this is the password. I'll be just copying and pasting these things here. And once these are done, you just test the connection. Let's see. Connection is successful. You can create it. So now REST linked service is completed. Let's quickly create the data like storage gen2 linked service. So data like storage gen2 ls for ADLS gen2. Come down. This is a subscription storage account name. Is this is the storage account name. Okay, test the connection. This is based on the account key, which is automatically loaded. So now I have a source REST API connection and uh, sync data like connection. I'll go to the author tab. Let's create the uh, two data sets, right? So REST API data set, select REST API, and you can create a DS for a REST API and use this particular link service okay that's how create it similarly we need to create a data set for our target that is data like so gen2 as a csv i'll be loading ds for ads gen2 you can just use this particular link service browse it select global under directly global folder i'll be a global container i'll be loading but we won't do that let's quickly create a stage stage will create automatically uh, at the time of running the pipeline so as this folder not available you have to select the input schema and click ok now two data sets are ready create a pipeline new pipeline here i'll be using the copy data activity okay let's put the copy data activity here what is our source source is a rest api okay this is the rest api sync is what data lake storage and two so source you cannot able to that use the data because you must have to pass the token so how to pass the token using the additional headers right you just have to use this here you need to put the authorization you can go to this particular url where you will be able to see what is the key key is authorization you just put that here so the value if you see here you click on this barrier and you need to put the value so for that click on this click add dynamic content you put the barrier here give space and then take the token from here copy it till here and you can keep it here and click ok so you have given the barrier token now if you just debug 
the pipeline should be able to ingest the data from the REST API to the ADLS Gen2. But there is a problem. The problem is it has a lot of user details, but it will ingest only one record. Okay, so copy activity is successful. But if you go to this particular data lake storage, right? If you go to this particular data lake storage, go inside global, go inside stage. If you open this, you'll be able to see. I don't think even you will be able to see those things. See, I did not get even single record from the REST API. This is the just a metadata information I got, but user details I did not get. Why I did not get it? If you go here, so this is the metadata information, right? In the postman when I tested, I got these details. So same details I'm able to see in this particular page. Why, why it is happening like this? Why it is happening like this? Only metadata. The problem is, so data is not a like um, a data is a array collection of elements. So from the collection of elements, if you want, okay, if you want only one element, if you want only one element, what you can do, you can come here or you can come to the copy activity, click on mappings. You can say that import schema. When you click import schema, it will give you first user details. See data, zero of ID, zero of name, zero of email and so on. Like this, it will give you only one item of data, one user details it will be. Let's debug now. When I debug, it will give the one user detail, right? If you come here, oh, sorry, not here, then the data lake site. If you see uh, one more file might be loaded at five. Recent file, you can see five, eight is the recent file. If you click on this, you will be able to see one user details. See now per page, total records, total pages, ID, name, email, profile, picture, location, uh, credit date. So these are the like uh, user uh, user columns, user data is loaded for one user. But how to access multiple user details, right? So we have, if you look at in the Postman tool, there are a lot of user details we have. Per page, we have 10 uh, user details. How to get at least this 10? per page, whatever user details are there, how to get all these user details, how to parse this particular complex collection of uh, elements, right? So for that, uh, so we will be looking at this particular thing in the next session, team. Thank you so much. I request all of you to subscribe my YouTube channel and encourage me and support me. 